aller et retour, ça prenait au moins, au moins 3 heures. Et maintenant, quand on fait la commande, dans 20 minutes, on a du sang et on, on donne vite, vite au patient. Je <laughs> We're here in uh, Muhanga, just south of Kigali, at the company Zipline, uh, that is one of the great innovative companies that uh, build autonomous vehicles. One of the great problems in healthcare, especially in developing countries, is that when someone uh, has an accident or someone needs blood, it's very difficult to store all the different kinds of blood that you need and be able to get it to where it needs to be very, very quickly. And so the first part of this project is to take very specific uh, kinds of blood and get them to any hospital in Rwanda in 17 minutes or less. The first thing is to expand it to other regions. And uh, secondly, we are looking at other products that can be uh, uh, delivered through, with uh, drones services. There are some vaccines that are used uh, in emergency, like anti-rabies, uh, snake, venom, anti-serum. The great lesson from this truly impressive innovation is that it was the Rwandan government and Zipline together uh, they came up with this particular system. The technology was from Zipline, but uh, which products it would transmit, uh, how it would do it, where it would go, uh, how this would work in the context of the Rwandan health system was all due to the leadership uh, of the Rwandan authorities. If we can find ways in which technology enables the empathy workforce, the health workers, the education workers, and, and, and the child care specialists, those who take care of older people, if we can do that, then we might just be able to get out ahead of the wave of technology that we fear is going to lead to huge job losses. There's no such thing as technology in and of itself. There are lots of interesting technologies in the world. What we've got to do now is to bring the technologies to uh, countries like Rwanda and figure out how to make these things work on behalf of the poorest people.